Welcome to the uh, Lockton Leverson shoot. Uh, we're here today to shoot some of our uh, uh, pheasants. You might get the opportunity for the odd partridge as well. Uh, main thing today, obviously, is that we're safe. We've got some steep banks. The beaters are going to be above you for on almost every drive. So make sure you've got plenty of blue sky around your birds um, when you're shooting. No fox, no ground game under any circumstances, please. When you get on your peg, you're going to be live and the end of the drive will be signalled by a whistle. Uh, if you're shooting with cartridges, please make sure you pick up your empties. Uh, we number from the left, we've got 10 guns shooting today. I would suggest we move up three on each of the drives. Okay, uh, any questions? When do we draw the peg numbers? We're about to do that oh, now. Right, go, go, that's <laughs> all right. We're about to do that now. We've got the low tech approach today. Yeah. So, uh, if you could just take, <laughs> take a piece of paper, that's got your number on it. Bring a prize and win a prize. Away oh, you go, gentlemen. That's just one. That's just the one. That's it. You can't see anyone. I've got to say, is that a nine or is it? Ah, that's all right. Ian, that's going to be confusing, isn't it? Three. It's an extension of shooting really, you know, you get in the garage with Radio 2 on and yeah. load a batch up, which I was doing uh, on Tuesday. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I normally shoot muzzle loaders to right. be honest. Yeah. Right. Um, we have a little, well, there's about five of us here today who have like a little sort of roving syndicate. Right, okay. And uh, we just go to different estates, just get little, little days, Yeah. you know, like 40, 50 birds? Yeah, 50, right, 60 yeah. bird days. And yeah. it's absolutely splendid. It's all you need, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I've just been saying I brought the spur off uh, right. last season. Well, it, it very nearly fell off. It cracked in half. So we had a new piece. What age is that gun oh. then? Um, about 1885, approximately. Right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's really done in like muzzle loading fashion, really. It's quite old fashioned. If you look, look yeah. at the. Birds, it's the sort of thing you see on muzzle loaders. Two setters and some pheasants. Yeah, so. yeah, that's right. Well, and the, the, uh, the and marking on the Damascus is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, and on the, see on the top there? Oh, yeah. Like a heron or... Well, why you'd be shooting herons, I don't know. <laughs> well, they did in the 1880s. <laughs> they probably did, yeah. But muzzle loading's probably the nicest of the lot, to be fair. It really, really is. I mean, you get two, three crackers with a muzzle loader in a day and you just yeah. get happy, you know? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, oh, we have some fun. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's great. We aren't worried about numbers. We never really have No, been. no. It's not what it's about, is it? It's having a, a nice day out with... Uh, with you know, your friends and like-minded people. Yeah, yeah exactly. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Pigeons. <laughs> Trouble is, it's not encouraged in general, is it? You know, if you're interested in guns, it's a bit... Yeah. Well, the mainstream media would never cover it, would they, like they would any other sport? No, no. Sadly, no. As a competitive sport, we get very little coverage, which is a shame. That's right. And like you say, it's up to the people of probably my generation to, in, you know, to actually sort of increase the awareness of it all, and that's what we try that, and do with our filming. That, that, that's right. No, you're doing right. Are, are you with Basque? No, well, I'm a trade member, yeah, but yeah. I actually, this is also my own company. Is it? Oh, yeah, right. It's what you do? Yeah. Oh, good lad, huh? Excellent. Well, if we can do as much as we possibly can and in... in, in Get as many youngsters out on these days and show them what you can expect and show you the etiquette and you know the, right. the reasons why the birds are shot and at the end up on the dinner table there's yeah, there's nothing yeah. wrong with it, is there? No. And if you can have a bit of fun using these sort of weapons at the same oh, time. That's a plus and it is definitely the brilliant. Yeah. They were going across the back, and I thought, well, maybe I should have a go at these. Really. They, were, they were going along with the long, wood long gun, way away. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. What sort of gun are you shooting then today? Williams and Powell. Oh, lovely. And what sort yeah. of age would that be? About 1840. Right. Well, I just saw you loading. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I was just what I was doing. I was actually re making sure the shot was reseated. Right. So as you, you when you're travelling between drives, you don't unload. You take the caps off. Right. And then you, you know, because it's safe, it's got no ignition yeah. system. But then when you set up again, you you, you make sure because you don't want air gaps in your black powder. Right. So you re, re check the depth and it. I mean, look, rods marked to show how far down it is oh, actually. Right. Excellent. So you can tell it's. Uh, it's seated properly. And so what, what sort of load would you be using on a day like this? All I use is two and a quarter drums of black powder. Right. Uh, TS2. And then I use an ounce of shot. Right. They're old ladies that don't want to be overcharged. Yeah. You know, the dog and chasing the pheasant, flushing pheasant. And again, when this gun was made, it would have been walked up rather than driven. Yeah. You know, you'd walk, you'd walk up with your Clumber Spaniels and all the old breeds. You know, it was a different style of shooting altogether in them days. That's one of the things that got me into black powder shooting, really, just the quality of the guns. Yeah, yeah. You know, you look at what the how well they're made and you look at the hammers and everything about them, they're just elegant. Yeah, you know, they really are. They're yeah, yeah. really beautiful things. It's a very romantic way of shooting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is, yeah, it, it is. really is. It's not about rush, rush. It's not, yeah. it's not you know, quantity, it's just quality. Yeah. You see, if someone shoot a really good bird with black powder, and it's magic. It's a proper, proper <laughs> bird, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Funnily enough, it has no name on it anywhere. Oh, and it's superb quality, I'll leave that. It's, uh, it's fantastic quality, but it's got no name on it. Right. Probably made in Birmingham, we don't know. Um, probably 1880-ish, something like that. I'll show you in a minute, it's a lovely oh. thing. If I'd made it, I'd put my name on it. Thank you. I enjoyed that. I bet you did. <laughs> yeah, splendid. Yeah, yeah. See ya. <laughs> no, steady. Yeah, yeah, with the man right. even I had the mate. I just said yeah. that to Dave because yeah. there were two men right yeah, there. Right the they had a right. Very well. Yeah. yeah. The ones that came across here were good. You've got oh, some good birds. Yeah, 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 nice yeah. birds. Yeah, good birds. Mm. No good. Right, I'll tell you what, there's some weight in these birds, isn't there, boy? Uh, trying to do as much as we can. We're after a sporty bird, but we're also after an eating bird. So we're just trying to get a bit of weight with them as well, really. Right. Um, I've breasted a few out this year, and they've actually had a real good layer of fat up breast, even hens. Um, and uh, my sort of grandmother-in-law, who's a crazy, crazy old Welsh lady, who's been eating pheasants for 70 odd years, has said they're some of the best she's ever had this year. So a little kudos for us up here. Yeah. This is one of my collection of Thomas Horsley's, 16 bar. My friend here, Les, is shooting it for me on my behalf today because I'm beating. But it's one made in 1874 for. Uh, um, John Dundas, who was right. the fourth son of the Earl of Zetland, right. uh, and he was uh, Deputy Lieutenant of uh, the North Riding. It's got a uh, number of Horsley's patents on it, with the uh, the pullback single bite action, the cams on the hammers for extracting the firing pins. But uh, what makes it uh, interesting is because of its age, a lot of them were. Um, Damascus barrels, where this is stamped on, on the barrel flats, all steel. Um, and it's also got a grip safety. Nice bit of wood on it. This is number one of a pair. Number two of the pair um, is uh, shown in David Baker's book on Thomas Horsley. Right. Uh, so he's got one of the pair and I've got the other. So uh, we're still discussing who should uh, end up with the pair but it's a lovely gun uh, 16 bar and uh, Les shoots it very well. Is this sort of shooting something that you do a lot of? The black powder no I mean I've invited third time I've done it with David. Right. Yeah 
but uh, I've never used a 16 bar and I've never used a hammer gun with black powder. So right, excellent. Third time for here, but so Coming it's all uh, eight shots so far each for how many? Three, three, four. four no. Not bad, There were steel barrels from you. Really? Were they? Yeah, even right. at that age. I've got then. one earlier. I've got one from 1868, and that says all steel on the, on the barrel. Right, okay. You look to do you had some nice shots in there. Yeah. It's, there's just something about this. Yeah. It's the, something different, something yeah. new. Because, again, I haven't done it for years. You, 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 it, sometimes it can get a bit samey. Yeah. So an opportunity to come and do something a bit different because you've got a different type of company as well. Yeah, definitely. No one's no one's interested in bag numbers. Everyone just no. wants to have a bit of fun and talk about the kit and the gear. And that's yeah, it. that's it. That's nice. I'm just i just here with a borrowed gun. I I sadly it's the sort of thing that I might find myself getting into. It's I'm gonna exactly cost the same me, after today. Cost yeah. me some money to after today. I'm a big advocate for small balls. Yeah. And I, I really like sort of 28, 4, 10. Yeah. But this this has that other magical sort of link to it, doesn't it? Where it you're does. loading your own cartridges and then you're seeing the birds come down. And smelling the, watching the, watching the smoke and then smelling it as it drifts across. That yeah. cloud of rotten egg. Especially it? this as well, yeah. with that line going up the woods. Yeah, fantastic. We talk about small ball, you've shot 4, 10 at Partridge all season so far. Really? Yeah. You say this was your first time at uh, first, black, first time black powder. I was apprehensive, but it's just a different way. It's the old, the old day is completely different because you can't, the guns don't eject. You, you are, you know, you've got to take your time, you've got to be selective, and it's so laid back. You, you can't shoot everything that's in the air, you can't load quick enough. You know, you've got hammers to cock back, you've got extra bits of safety to consider. It's just great fun, you know, when you're not loaded and the birds flush somewhere different, you can see what's happening down down from you. You know, you're seeing flashes of you know fire going up in the air and smoke. It's just really great to see, you know. And the cartridges are so smooth, they're unbelievably smooth, and I thought the opposite. Before I started before before I shot, I thought there'd be a bit of a bumper in it or something like that, but they're not, they're very smooth to shoot. Uh, I've had got some extremely high birds with them and I haven't managed to touch them, but better luck next time. But uh, I found out they're quicker, they're quicker, they're as quick, if not, they're similar to Nitro. So I've cut my lead down and I'm starting to hit a few birds. So uh, I'm enjoying it. I've got about nine birds so far. But I don't tell you how many cartridges I've shot to get nine. The average has gone well down, but it's been great fun, you know, and uh, I'd certainly do it again. And uh, it's just uh, superb, superb. Get them round the road. <laughs> 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 oh, so they go out on the last and come back. <laughs>